Hello and welcome to the XView Globe Claritas tutorial, displaying seismic data within a job flow. The purpose of this tutorial is to familiarize you with setting up the XView module, the most important parameters, and how Claritas can be used to interactively analyze and display the seismic data. Firstly, we will take a look at a job flow which I set up earlier. The sole purpose of this flow is to read in three marine shot gathers and display them. The XView parameter form has three important values. The fold mode, which for constant fold gathers should be set to fixed. The maximum fold value, representing the maximum fold within the gather. And the N ensemble value, which defines the number of gathers shown at any given time. We now accept the parameter form and run this job. This will open an XView window. You can bring the parameter form back up by selecting params and main plot. This form is slightly different from the original we saw before, with the scale values listed first. We can change the horizontal scale by typing in a different traces per centimetre value. Claritas has many hotkeys. Corresponding hotkeys for the zoom options are the plus key to zoom in and the minus key to zoom back out. The smaller than sign to zoom out laterally and the bigger than sign to zoom in laterally. This display shows the seismic data as a variable area wiggle plot. The style can be changed up here. Selecting VD for variable density brings up a color bar at the bottom of the display. You can toggle between the color maps by clicking on the bar with the left, middle or right mouse button. In the XView display, the user always has the option to apply basic processing tools on the fly. I can demonstrate this by applying an AGC. This process can be toggled on and off and can be applied to any type of display style. It is easy to change the gain by using the plus and minus keys next to the process button. The XView display has many different interactive analysis tools. These can be accessed via the analysis button at the bottom of the display. Starting with perhaps the most basic one, the seismic data zoom. You can define the area of interest by defining a box with the left mouse button. The zoom appears in a new window. For this new window, the seismic data display style and the gain value can be changed as well. There are many other tools, including a frequency spectrum graph, an amplitude histogram, and tau p transform, amongst others. An entire ensemble can be selected by a single mouse click on the panel. The last analysis example I want to show is the FK spectra of a selected region. A special feature here is that an interactive FK domain mute can be created. The mute can be defined as above, below, or as a polygon mute. A line can be defined with the left mouse button and finalized with the right mouse button. The resulting spectrum can be inverted and compared. It can be very handy to use the ruler. This can be used to get an idea about approximate velocities within your survey. Pressing the ruler option with the left mouse button results in a refraction velocity measuring device. If you use the middle mouse button, reflection velocities can be measured. A linear move out correction can also be applied to the data on the fly. You need to set up a velocity as well as the linear move out time shift value. The correction can be toggled on and off. For QC purposes, it can be very useful to overlay header values on top of the seismic data. Under Utils, we find the three different options. You can choose to overlay the offsets, for example. After defining a refraction velocity in this case, a red line appears in the display. This can be used to QC the applied geometry, for example, 